Hello students, welcome to Oxford Modern English Online Class. Our today's lesson is from Grade 3 English Book and our lesson is My Early Home. It is a story about a horse. First of all, we will read the difficult words of this lesson. Box. It means hit. Broke. A small stream. Colt. A young male horse. Gallop. The fastest pace of a horse. Gig. A light two-wheeled carriage. Lodging. Living space. Meadow. A grass-covered field. Plow. To dig up an area to make it ready for planting. Rushes. Plants. Well-bred. Having or showing good manners. Being of good quality. Vinate. Past tense of Vinny. A noise horses make. Okay, students, let's start reading of the story. The first place that I can well remember was a large pleasant meadow with a pond of clear water in it. Some shady trees lean over it and rushes and water lilies grew at the deep end. Over the hedge on one side we looked into a plow, plowed field and on the other we looked over a gate at our master's house which stood by the roadside. At the top of the meadow was a groove of fire trees and at the bottom a running brook overhung by a steep bank. While I was young I lived upon my mother's milk. As I could not eat grass in the daytime, I ran by her side and at night I lay down close by her when it was hot. We used to stand by the pond in the shade of the trees and when it was cold we had a nice warm shed near the grove. As soon as I was old enough to eat grass, my mother used to go out to work in the daytime and come back in the evening. There were six young colts in the meadow besides me. They were older than I was. Some were nearly as large as grown-up horses. I used to run with them and had great fun. We used to gallop all together round and round. The field as hard as we could go. Sometimes we had rather rough play for they would frequently bite and kick as well as gallop. One day when there was a good deal of kicking, my mother whinnied to me to come to her and then she said, I wish you to pay attention to what I am going to say to you. The courts who live here are very good courts, but they are cart horse courts. And of course, they have not learned manners. You have been well bred and well born. Your father has a great name in these parts. And your grandfather won the cup two years at the new market races. Your grandmother had the sweetest temper of any horse I ever knew. And I think you have never seen me kick or bite. I hope you will grow up gentle and good and never learn bad ways. Do your work with a good will. Lift your feet up well when you trot and never bite or kick even in, the, in play. I have never forgotten my mother's advice. I knew she was a wise old horse. 
and our master thought a great deal of her her name was duchess but he often called her pet our master was a good kind man he gave us good food good lodging and kind words he spoke as kindly to us as he did to his little children we were all fond of him and my mother loved him very much when she saw him at the gate she would nigh with joy and trot up to him he would pat and stroke her and say well old pat and how is your little darky i was a little black so he called me darky then he would give me a piece of bread which was very good and sometimes he brought a carrot for my mother all the horses would come to him but i think we were his favorites my mother always took him to the town on a market day in a light gig there was a plow boy dick who sometimes came into our field to pluck blackberries from the hedge when he had eaten all he wanted he would have what he called fun with the colts throwing stones and sticks at them to make them gallop we did not mind him much for we could gallop off but sometimes a stone would hit and hurt us one day he was at this game and did not know that the master was in the next field but he was there watching what was going on over the hedge he jumped in a snap and catching dick by the arm he gave him such a box on the ear as made him roar with pain and surprise as soon as we saw the master we trotted up nearer to see what went on bad boy he said bad boy to chase the colts this is not the first time not the second but it shall be the last there there take your money and go home i shall not want you on my farm again so we never saw dick any more old daniel the man who looked after the horse says was just as gentle as our master so we were well off okay students let me tell you that this nice story is adapted from black beauty novel written by anna sewell anna sewell wrote black beauty to try to improve the treatment of horses horses were used a lot at this time in history and were often treated harshly from childhood sewell relied on a horse and carriage to get around after severely damaging both of her ankles her decision to write from the horse's viewpoint makes the reader imagine what life is like for the horse dear students i hope you like the reading of the story if you want to get more about the story read from black beauty novel and subscribe to this channel to get more interesting videos see you in the next video